uh, hey everyone this is sunil here and i hope everyone you you every one of you are doing great so yeah uh, little about me i i am uh, working as a data scientist from couple of months and uh, in this video specifically we are going to discuss about the agglomerative clustering technique you know giving the introduction from the supervised unsupervised learning and then going to the uh, uh, clustering technique of the hierarchical clustering specifically agglomerative clustering so this is the intent of the video uh, and uh, yeah let's just discuss uh, specifically uh, initially about the uh, class, uh, supervised learning technique of machine learning uh, when it comes to the data science and the unsupervised technique of machine learning uh, uh, what exactly these are as, as the name suggests the supervised learning is the learning when we supervise the thing for example our brain uh, if uh, we shows uh, 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 you know uh, uh, snipper slick uh, slipper uh, or let's say shoes uh, to the kid and we say this is the this is the shoe so uh, you know the, the brain the human brain is uh, uh, modified or would say uh, built in such a way that it will understand that this is the shoe and the similar example could be the shoe right based upon this it separates uh, it it categorize it labels the uh, data you know that we have so similarly it go for the uh, uh, machine mm -hmm. learning algorithm as well as uh, uh, where we exactly uh, 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 you know kind of identify and understand that yes this is the particular label for this particular uh, example and this can be uh, they, they, they can be similar example for this which means we are supervising based upon the labeled data right we have already some some labeling uh, in place and based upon that taking that as a reference and uh, predicting uh, the similar sort of things so uh, when it comes to the unsupervised learning it is not the case because we don't have the labeled data in that place so uh, and and uh, and in in an, an organization when we uh, you know enter to the company and uh, we try to uh, understand that uh, that we have a lot of data which is not categorized which is not classified so to to it comes very handy during that time to identify uh, such a such, such an uh, easy manner uh, you know and classify the uh, the the data into the groups so that is exactly based upon the similarity and the dissimilarity for example we have a chappal hai chappal hai ya ya juta hai koi so we can't we can't mix up the the you know slipper and as well as shoes to the one category because they both are uh, they both belongs to the different categories that's exactly the clustering technique is that's exactly based upon the similarity and dissimilarity there will be a lot of groups that will be uh, uh, formed and we specify it how many groups we want we specify it how many category how granularity in the data we want that is something uh, uh, up to the business and up to uh, uh, being you as a data scientist it depends upon you okay based upon uh, uh, by, by by seeing the context uh, the context of the uh, uh, what what i would say uh, uh, the data set that you are having right so let's just start quickly i, I think this is very quick uh, about the uh, clustering and now uh, further uh, discussing on to this right we have when it comes to the clustering we have further two types for the clustering so there is a uh, there is a uh, 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 there are a lot of ties for the clustering but uh, specifically talking about the hierarchical clustering so hierarchical clustering is something which uh, you know divides this data in a hierarchical manner or the subgroups or categorize or or, or uh, uh, categorize in a, in, a, in, a, in a hierarchical fashion for example uh, in in case of agglomerative we have uh, we consider all the data point into the one cluster and and uh, uh, sorry we, we consider each data point uh, have its own cluster and then based upon similarity we keep on merging it okay to make the final model so it it's a, it's a always a, it's always a bottom up uh, approach from bottom we are uh, building to the up right and uh, say it goes uh, what happens for the divisive divisive we, we consider entire uh, data points to be uh, you know the place in a one cluster and from there based upon the dissimilarity we keep on uh, uh, identifying and, and separating segregating from the uh, main cluster and make individual cluster uh, of its own and and we we kind of uh, repeats this process until we have the uh, uh, stopping criteria uh, criterion to match right uh, until we meets the uh, stopping criteria the stopping criteria could be the number of cluster that we want 
right and uh, how, how many observation till we want or, or let's say individual uh, data points have uh, its own clusters now for the entire data set so that means that is the stopping criteria which has been met so let's just see using the python how exactly we code and uh, do it in in uh, using using python how i, I think it, it's very pretty straightforward and very simple to implement uh, if i have to give you an example so i think anybody uh, can understand and then kind of uh, remember forever that what exactly uh, uh, agglomerative clustering is it goes same for the dbc clustering and came in clustering as well okay just have to uh, uh, import the class by specifying the names for example uh, i'm just going to give you an example for the agglomerative clustering so for that first we do import the numpy from which we gonna uh, make uh, use of the mathematical calculation that we gonna uh, have so uh, also we gonna import the sklearn okay and then from sklearn uh, uh, then from the sklearn dot cluster because we are looking into the clustering uh, we gonna import the class of the agglomerative agglomerative clustering okay this is the class that we gonna uh, 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 kind of an import so this should be done for now and let's just run it yes this is done and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a model I mean uh, 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 in initiate a object of a class that is why of class agglomerative agglomerative clustering yeah so this is how we're gonna instant ah, what before this what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have the data right we should have data to perform on this clustering technique in this case we don't have so we're gonna just uh, uh, for for uh, you know example purpose we're gonna just create a ex uh, uh, data set which with the variable of uh, x containing uh, uh, the data so using the library numpy dot random dot rend okay and basically what exactly this does if you, uh, you just scroll there you can see that random value gives a shape in, in a given shape what what exactly it, it gives you a uniform distribution of the data rand gives you uniform distribution of data where random is responsible for generating the random values okay and we, we specify inside the random right we, we specify the shape of the data that we want for example in this case we want 50 by 2 which means 50 samples 50 uh, observations and and we want two clusters okay two clusters to form so this is the data that we have created let's just run it uh, yeah it rain so now what we're gonna do is uh, if you just click over there you can see some of the description uh, that what exactly this class takes okay this model class okay uh, we are not able to see so basically it takes some of the parameters that we we have to specify for example in this case n cluster is the parameter that we need to uh, specify how much we want we want two cluster so n cluster is equal to two we have already given this uh, argument uh, this uh, we have mentioned this uh, parameter and now what we're gonna do we're gonna model dot fit fit this data which is x okay fit and also we're gonna predict we're gonna use this method of this particular object so now there's a difference okay uh, between the method and function this is a method why because uh, it is having a specific object a specific it is associated with the object so object in this case we have model model is the object and by using dot we are calling this method so this method is associated this is a function but this is called a method why because it is associated with specific object of a class okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mention that we need uh, uh, fit this and predict for this okay now this will do the the work now what we wanna is in addition to this we want we want the labels so labels is equal to a model dot labels okay this is gonna give us the label so we're gonna print it once we print it it's gonna give a give us the predicted labels of these groups how many groups we had two groups so it's go, it gonna give the uh, uh, expected output yeah you can see 0 and 1 is the category of the group is one zero zero one zero one these are groups so now it it is not that easy to uh, you know visualize we're gonna visualize it using uh, the the matplotlib library so for for that i already have uh, uh, you know code so i'm gonna just paste it just to save our time so this is basically using making use of scatter plot 
okay and drawing these two labels 0 and 1 okay just uh, x label by label and we are putting some title and plt dot show which basically displays the uh, plot so yeah if you can see this is how uh, uh, the clustering has been done for this right this random sample so this is uh, where purple color belongs to feature one or the class one or class uh, feature two let's say or uh, the feature one is the uh, yellow color okay so this is completely visible that we have making use of uh, uh, you know uh, the agglomerative clustering we have now come up, come to the conclusion that we have we have our uh, desired uh, result or uh, the uh, classified groups so yeah that was all about this was all about the uh, agglomerative clustering and if you want to do it for the divisive you have to change uh, the uh, you know uh, parameter a little and uh, and also you need to for in case of divisive you need to you know mention some of this there are some of the parameter that you need to decide uh, for the stopping uh, criterion or n cluster is equal to none because we want uh, in case of divisive right we want uh, the clustering happen till the end because as we know it is a uh, bottom uh, top uh, top down uh, approach dbc so in in case of dbc we will be n cluster is equal to specifying equal to none till each data points have its own cluster till that time we're gonna separate or segregate it so uh, and same goes in in dom of the k min so if you want to do same for the clustering for the k min so you have to you have class which is k uh, means okay uh, sorry it's k means so it's k means so yeah so instead of agglomerative clustering you uses the k means and also here in this case we have centroids so you you make you you can make use of that also using the model dot centroid or the or uh, uh, cluster dot centroid so that will give you the cent value of the centroids okay so uh, yeah the next uh, we will be discussing in another video about the uh, in in brief manner how exactly we can use it for the real world data and uh, how exactly k min clustering is used and what are the evaluation metrics uh, that we have in place for these clustering uh, uh, techniques so thank you thank you very much for listening guys yeah have a great day